It's 92.9 NIN. I'm Drew, and uh, I do have a guest on the phone uh, from Help Me Harlan, Mr. Harlan Cohen, who is going to offer us some, some great advice. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to help some people find some love. And uh, tell us, what, what, has, what have you done that's the qualifications? Why are you the guy that we need to get our advice from? You know, I'm the messenger of love, and, and I'd say I'm five, five and a half feet tall, um, and I've got some, some errors that protrude a little bit. Um, but I am the delivery man of love, and a lot of people don't, they don't expect me to be the package, to be, the, to be that, that messenger. But I have figured out, I've cracked the code, and I am confident I can help people to, to get lucky, which means actually meet someone they want to kiss during daylight hours uh, <laughs> while sober. That's, that's, you know, that's a feat sometimes to be able to find that. It is, it is a challenge. We, we don't learn how dating and relationships work. And that's what I do. And, you know, my professional qualifications, I'm a syndicated advice columnist, I'm author of a best-selling book. I'm actually a New York Times best-selling author. I've got a book called Getting Naked, Five Steps to Finding the Love of Your Life While Fully Clothed and Totally Sober. And you don't have to be sober, but I can help you to actually be able to do that, too. And, um, and I figured it out. So, so that's what I do. I travel around the country. I help people to, to, to meet someone that can make their lives a little bit better. Or if someone's in a relationship, I can help you to upgrade. So all your listeners, I can help you find someone better. Wouldn't that be great? You know, you know yeah. it always is. Everybody likes an upgrade. Heck yeah, you need to upgrade. Or I can help you to find someone better uh, or make your relationship better. So that's what I do. And, um, and I love helping people. That's why I'm Help Me Harlan. Well, you know, it's Friday afternoon, and so what better time to get that advice? You know, if we're, we're going to be going out tonight, maybe you're going to be looking for that uh, love of your life. You can take this to heart, and we can, you know, we can learn from you, Harlan, and we can yeah. put it to action this, this weekend, right? Absolutely. I've prepared three tips and some naked advice to help your listeners this weekend. Okay. So they, they, and they are, ready to, they are ready to use. So tip number one. It's not about who wants you. It's about who you want. See, we're so afraid of rejection. We're so afraid of taking risks that we're always so worried about someone liking us and wanting us. But it's about who do you want and what do you like? Shift it and make it about what you want. So tell me this then, how, how does someone implement that? If they're, uh, let's say somebody who's shy and they're like, oh man, that girl's out of my league. What, uh, what should they do? Well, first of all, you're the commissioner of your own league. So when you're saying someone's out of your league, basically you're, basically you're saying, I'm not good enough. I don't think I'm attractive enough. I don't think I'm interesting enough. And then you need to take a step back and say, what do I need to do so that I know I'm enough? Tip number two is when you approach someone, you think clearly, this is, you think, are you as interesting as you are attractive? This is what you think, this is what you think in your head. So if you're that shy guy, if you're that shy woman, it's not, oh, you're so hot, you're so attractive. It's, are you as interesting as you are attractive? And you don't say it, this is what you think, so that you can actually have a conversation and listen. Hmm. So, Isn't that so, amazing? It's that simple. Are you as interesting as you are attractive? And so how would someone implement that rule, that number two, number two rule of yours? Well, what do you want to find out about someone? If you see someone and you find them uh, appealing to the eye, what do you want to know? Where they're from? What do they do during the week? What are they doing at night? Why are they in the place where you're hanging out? Who are they hanging out with? What is something that you want to know? What would be interesting? So you ask them a question. What do you find interesting about this person? What do you want to know? And you don't have to tell them they're attractive and hot or any of those things. If you're talking to someone on a Friday night at a crowded bar and you're paying attention to that person, they're going to know, they're going to know you think they're, they're hot and attractive or you wouldn't be talking to them. So don't be like everybody else. Ask them a question about who they are and what they do, where they live, work, and play. So just to, to recap, it's not about who wants you. It's about who do you want. And then it's finding out, are the people that you want as interesting as they are attractive? And you approach that person and ask them that question and actually listen to the response. And then you can actually have a great conversation. So and those the are, third tip, yeah, those, those are the first two tips. Now we come to the, the third one. And this is, uh, we, if you put all three of these together, this is what people need to do this weekend uh, to go out and meet, meet the, the person that they're going to maybe want to be with, right? 
Exactly. I just want to spend some, just have a nice conversation with someone you find attractive. And tip number three is stop making excuses. We are the masters at BSing ourselves. We don't say what we think. We don't do what we feel because we are experts at making excuses. So no excuses. Actually say what you think and do what you feel. Find out who's interesting and attractive and make it about who you want, not who wants you. And put yourself out there. Well, it's, it's three things. They sound fairly simple, but something we probably don't always do, right? We never do it because we're so afraid. We're so scared of rejection. We're so afraid to be vulnerable. And next time we talk, I'm going to help people to be able to handle what happens after you say what you think and do what you feel. Because that's the part where we get freaked out, and that's where we run into drama, confusion, and problems. Well, Harlan, we appreciate it today, and I'll put this up at 92.9nin.com so anybody can listen to it again, get ready for this weekend, and we'll talk again next week and offer some more advice going into the weekend and see what we can do to help some people here in Wichita Falls, right? Absolutely, and harlancohen.com, that's my website, H-A-R-L-A-N-C-O-H-E-N. I can answer your questions. I've got advice. I am here in your corner to help you in Wichita Falls to find love and make your relationships better. I'm here, man. Excellent. Well, it is Harlan Cohen. Like I said, 929NIN.com will have his information. You can get everything you got here. It's 929NIN.